Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Tuesday review video. Fun fact, I already shot this video earlier today but I was so unhappy with it that I put my makeup back on, put on a wig, and here I am reshooting it. Not only did I shoot this video earlier today, but I actually have done this video in the past. So if you are a longtime subscriber, you might remember a few years ago when this foundation first launched, I did a video on it. I have since removed that video and that's kind of why we're doing it again. So this is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Fluid Foundation. I have mine in the shade Cosmic or G15. If you saw my Sephora haul recently, I actually got this foundation by accident. Uh, it just kind of showed up in my Sephora order and I double checked and I didn't buy it. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't buy it. And I contacted Sephora and I said, hey, you guys gave me a foundation that I didn't pay for. Like, what do you want me to do? And it kind of gave me a non-answer. So it's, it's mine now. So we're going to take a quick look at it on the Sephora website. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. Like I said, it comes in 12 shades and it retails for $59 Canadian. Yikes. It says this is good for normal and dry skin types. What it is, a revolutionary medium to full coverage skincare foundation fluid powered by 100% pure argan oil and nutrient rich pigments for vibrant and glowing skin. I'm not going to read the what it is formulated to do or any of the other information they have below that because it is, there's a lot, and it just kind of says the same thing over and over again. So if you're interested in reading about all the great things Josie Marin says this foundation will do to your skin, you can go check that out yourself. How to use. Starting at the center of the face, blend and press vibrancy into skin using working outward in sections. Using working outward in, that doesn't make sense, okay. If desired, layer for additional coverage. So I can't confirm this to be true, but I feel like they maybe reformulated this since the first time I used it. Because I remember the first time I used this, uh, my skin wasn't as extreme combination as it is now. It was a little more normal. Um, but I remember it feeling like just straight up argan oil on my face. And I use argan oil in my hair, so believe me, I know what it feels like. I remember it just feeling like straight up argan oil on my face. It doesn't feel that bad anymore, but it definitely still has a little bit of that oily feeling. To the extent that I don't think I would recommend this foundation for anyone ex unless you have the driest of dry skins. It's not my cup of tea as far as a foundation goes because it's just... It's a little too nourishing, a little too hydrating, and I don't need that all over my face. So because I have sort of different skin things going on in different zones, I would rather tackle skincare in the stuff that goes under my foundation rather than in the foundation itself, you know? I'd rather even everything out underneath and then put a foundation on rather than expect my foundation to do all my skincare work for me, you know? So I actually have a fun clip here because when I went to put this on for the demo, I picked up the brush that I thought was the foundation brush that I use all the time. It wasn't. I dragged a different foundation brush, one I apparently hadn't used in months, and I ended up with dust all over my face <laughs> in the foundation. So I wiped that off and I tried again. And it's it's not like this foundation is bad. It's just a little too glowy for me, a little too dewy, a little too hydrating for someone who has, you know, combination skin. I'm dry like on my cheeks and on my eye areas, but then I'm pretty oily on my forehead and my chin these days. It's a beautiful foundation. It's got great coverage, but like I said, it's just a little too much for me. And especially when you take into account the price, like I just feel like $59 for a foundation is extreme. Like I understand that a lot of what you're paying for with this is the ingredients probably, but I feel like this foundation is so similar to the L'Oreal Lumi, which is a third of the price, that I don't know that I can warrant the $40 difference for the ingredients, you know? Like, I'm just one small girl who works for my money, and I don't know that I would ever spend $60 on this foundation. I would much rather spend less money or even a little bit less money on a foundation that I can be more versatile with because of what I put underneath it rather than this which is always going to be like a little bit oily, a little bit slick, a little bit too much for my skin. Like I said, if you have really, really dry skin, you might love this foundation because it is going to be really hydrating. It is going to make your skin feel really plump and nice. But for me, it's just a little too much. I have to wear this with, you know, not a heavy moisturizer underneath it, even though I love wearing heavy moisturizers. I have to really, really powder it down. I have to make sure that I, you know, there's just so many things that I have to put in place in order to make this foundation work on my skin that for me, it's not worth it. It's a beautiful foundation. Thank you so much, Sephora, for the accidental gift, I guess. Uh, but just know that I wouldn't own a whole bottle of it if it didn't accidentally end up in my Sephora order. I just wouldn't buy it. It's a beautiful foundation for some, but just not for me. 
And anyway, thank you so much for watching this week's Tuesday review video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye!